It sounds impossible, but after the floods, Texas is now bracing for wildfires. How can fire follow a flood? It's not a contradiction, it's a consequence. The floods stripped away topsoil, destroyed ground cover, left behind dried debris, dead trees, and exposed roots. As the water receded, temperatures rose. And now, in some areas, conditions are perfect for ignition. This is the new disaster cycle. One crisis bleeds into the next. Floods, fires, power outages, displacement. In the hill country, officials are already issuing wildfire watches. Bastrop, Travis and Blanco counties are now marked as high-risk zones. Thousands of acres soaked just two weeks ago, now dry, cracked and flammable. The emergency isn't over. It's changing shape and moving fast. So we mapped it out. These are the areas most at risk. Counties with steep terrain and exposed vegetation. Areas recently cleared of ground cover by flooding. Rural zones far from active fire stations. This is how flood season becomes fire season. Follow crisis lens for the full disaster chain and the next warning before it's too late.